in today's episode, I'm going to analyze the following myths. Can you actually shoot through walls? If you shoot a crossbow to the sky, will the crossbow ball fall back? Can you knock down two players with one shot? Only here in Game Investments, PUBG Mobile, Myth Busters. Cuckoo everyone, welcome back, it's your host GV and I hope you're having an amazing day. First of all, thank you so much for the amazing support in the last episode, freaking legends, absolutely insane, thank you so much for that, and let's go right into it. This one comes from... Oh boy, what is going on? It's the internet, they want to tell me something, and Coherent Racer says... You can actually kill the enemy through the wall or anything else if you can see any part of their body. So if you remember from a previous episode, I already tried this but with a pan. Our test subject is ready to be punished, I mean to help, he's ready to help. You can even see his helmet through the wall and nothing at all, no matter how many times you try it, nothing is going to happen. Even after I show this, I still receive a lot of messages. Many of you telling me that I need to try this but with another weapon, that I need to shoot at it. So yeah, I read your comments and let me show you once and for all that this is not working. What? What the f- Wait, what? Um, this must be a mistake, no? Nope, it's not. So now I'm really curious and I want to try different possibilities here. And we're going to start with the amazing... Okay, so the bot squad is ready. Dang, so it's not only the head. And this is why sometimes I read in my comments, like people complaining about wall hacking. Now I'm really curious and let's try to shoot under the thin wall. Okay, so that is not going to work, but it pretty much depends on the type of wall. So now it's time to try to shoot at the feet. And yes, it's also going to work. I know I'm a scientist and I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but I really think this is one of the things that they need to fix. Of, of course, lag should come first, but this one is also important because a lot of people will complain, a lot of people will be reported maybe by accident, or they will not understand what is going on. And please let me know what you think down below. And the best advice I can give you is, don't stuck your nose or any part of your body next to the wall, like all the way in. I know you're scared, I know RRQ is coming, just remember not to place your character extremely close to the wall. We have our answer and I'm going to approve this one. Yes, you can shoot enemies through the wall if any part of their body is showing. I think this only works with thin walls, so you should be fine in almost every building. But still, I will not recommend you stuck your next to the wall. Next, meat. For this one, since you really like the crossbow, sooner you know wants to know. If you shoot a crossbow to the sky, will the ball fall back? And I'm going to give you a little bonus theory here, because Heman wants to know what's the range of the crossbow. Now, I already made a video about the render distance of enemies and vehicles, so check it out, link in the description. But for now, let's go right into it. For this myth, the first thing you want to know is that whenever you shoot a crossbow bolt, after a couple of seconds, it's going to disappear. And since I know you're going to be asking the question, the answer you're looking is 8 seconds. And as I also showed in a previous video, this will also happen if you shoot at the pan, and no, the crossbow will not penetrate the pan, only an our melee weapon can do that. Nevertheless, it looks pretty cool, and that's quite a long crossbow bolt. I don't even know if that's normal, but you know what else is really long? My big and amazing merch that you can find in even 2XL, link in the description, check it out. So knowing that, you probably already imagine that if you shoot a crossbow ball to the sky, it's not going to come back down. If you really love it, just let it go. And since I know you're sad, don't worry, because I have really cool OP tips about a crossbow. For example, It takes 8 556 5, bullets to destroy a door, but only 3 with a crossbow. Also, it takes 3 556 5, bullets to pop a wheel. Same result with 7.62 ammo, and with a crossbow, you only need one. 
So now we need to move on and find the range of the crossbow. If you watched my other video, you probably already know the answer. And if you were paying attention, of course. Um, and there's going to be a quiz next week. So yeah, let's see how let's see how nine year old you are. So for the first one, we're going to do it over 100 meters. Should not be a problem for a scientist crossbow master like me. <gasps> and it only took me 10 minutes. Next goal is going to be over 200 meters. Ooh. There you go, and it only took me two days, which is above average, of course. For the next one, this is the subject. He called himself USSR Hanas, and he thinks he can do 250 meters on his first try. <sighs> what a noob. I call hacks. Yeah, but he will not be able to do this with 300 meters, of course. Only scientific crossbow masters Christian channels can do this. And to answer the last question, he's going to move until he can see the player, which is the render distance of an enemy, and that's pretty much between 320 meters and 330 meters. Of course, he will not be able to do this. I'm the only one who can do it if you give me like 3 months. We have our answer and we're going to bust this one. Bruh. No, the crossbow ball is not going to fall back. Just let it go. It's going to be fine. You don't need it in your life anymore. And for the second one, I already answered the question two times because you're not watching all videos. I'm just going to say there's a quiz next week. I don't know how you're going to do it. Don't come crying after nine year old. Next, meet. Next one comes from Flystar Gaming, cool name, and here she says the AWM can kill three players in a row. So first of all, we're gonna try this with a car 98, two players in a row. As expected, it's not going to work, but we already know how powerful the crossbow is, so now it's time to test it. Same result, it's not going to work, that's really sad, but we still have one more chance with the amazing AWM. And just to show you really quick, Magnum bullets cannot penetrate the pan. I'm also going to do it like this so people will not complain. GG, it's not going to work, since I didn't want to give up that easily, I decided to try this in another way just to be sure. Since I already made two episodes about a hitbox, the idea is pretty simple, so I'm gonna try to hit them at the same time. And first we're gonna be trying this with a car 98. Nothing at all. Let's try with a crossbow now, exactly in the middle. Dang it, it didn't work. I'm gonna try this again just to be sure I'm not making any mistakes. Big nope, at this point I was going to give up until I remember Shotguns have spread. Same result until this happened. Ooh, ooh. Yes, you can shoot two players at the same time. So now I wanna keep testing. So I'm gonna be trying this with the S12K, one of my favorite shotguns. The theory here is that if we can shoot both players at the same time, we should be able to knock them down. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to lower the health as much as possible. Sadly, it's going to be the same result. It's not going to work and that's because the system at certain point is only going to detect damage in one of them. It's such a big bummer. I'm sad because I thought we have something special going on here that we can discover something really cool, but we have our answer. I'm going to bust this one. Bruh. And no, you cannot kill two players or more with one shot, no matter which weapon you're using. And you know what time it is? You really think you deserve this one? Bonus meat! Spicy. <laughs> yeah, boy. And this one comes from a freaking lot of people. 
and the FBI. Okay, I swear I'm innocent. These nine year olds forced me to do all these crazy experiments. They are the mastermind of this plan. Oh, wait. They just say that you can run over a teammate by exiting the vehicle. Okay, we can try that. Since the FBI is watching, I mean, since I want our test subjects to participate, I'm not going to be doing this one. Let's see if it's possible and... It's absolutely going to work. As I showed in a previous episode, you can no longer kill your teammate by switching seats. But as you can see, it's going to work if you jump from the vehicle. This is pretty cool from the developers because now you are risking your life if you try to kill your own teammate. The only problem I see, and here's a great tip for you, is that this will also apply to your enemies. It actually happened to me. If your enemy tries to run you over and you manage to kill him, if the vehicle is going really fast and it hits you, you're pretty much dead. Not a big deal to be honest, so just take that into account. So for this one, I'm going to approve it. And yes, you can run over your teammate if you exit the vehicle at the right time. You are risking your life here, so I will not recommend you try this. That's really cool. Thank you so much everyone for your comments. This is why it's important to read every comment. Although I'm going to stop replying to all of them. <coughs> Who said that? And if you learned something new or you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Really helps a lot. Don't forget to check out the merch, hopefully you will like it. We also have new Patreons, so thank you so much for the amazing support. Means the world to me because I can keep doing this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will snipe you soon. Tschüss.